man in Naso Rock is Buhari, not Chupiri from Sudan. Adeshina. <laughs> One that shall never end. This is a drama country. A country when anybody can come up and at your drama, then you go. A country when anything can be possible. This is the country we are. Okay. Now, Adeshina is saying that the man in Naso Rock is Buhari, that they should forget about what Namdekanu I have been saying that the man in Naso Rock is Jubilee from Sudan, not Buhari. But there have been so many uh, instances Nigerians have actually questioned this fact. You know, we want to know the real man in this Aso Villa. We know, we want to know if this is the, the, the man we voted for in 2015. They've questioned the presidency, like when uh, we had the COVID-19 pandemic, Nigerians asked the president to come and speak to them. But does it supposed to be so? Do you supposed to be begged to come and talk to your people when there is problems on ground? You know, this has given Nigerians so many doubts about this fact. You understand? And we also have the issue these, during this NSAC uh, crisis. People were like, come out to talk to us. We want to hear from our president because you are the father of all. But he never did. After one week or so, he came out to come and read papers. And this gave, you know, brought a, a big uh, confusion. They're like, are you sure that this man is the man we voted for? Because the way he's acting, we never expected this. And he refused to come out for a press conference when we talk to you. Answer us. Recently, the Senate invited him. This one is a boom. The Senate invited him, Mr. President to come and come and clear up about the insecurity that is going on in this country. He agreed to come though. But after a while, the uh, Abubakar Malami came to say, no, the Senate have no authority to summon Mr. President. You understand? And he never did. He never came. The next thing, he travel. You can't go casting a state. What did happen for there? Our mat not see if they talk him till now. He got to Castina State. The very day he he he, he went to Castina, students were adopted there. The forty three uh, rice farmers that that was beheaded in Boronu State. That matter still there. They don't leave them or touch. But if you want to tell Nigeria that this man is Buhari, we want facts. Give us facts. Because Nnam Dikano brought out so many facts to back his claim. You cannot just come and say, no, 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 no. This thing you people are saying, is this and this. We want the facts. Let Mr. President address Nigerians in a press conference. When people will talk to ask him questions, and they will answer. And this is what Nigerians have been saying. Okay, look at what happened. I'm going back again. The Castina saga. He refused to go and commiserate with people that is, uh, that is grieving. He could not even go to console them. You are in Castina. You, you, you went as far to uh, invite delegates from Abuja and you never came. So these are the doubts in Nigerians' mind. So, Mr. Deshina. Nigerians are saying that you should give us more proof that the man in Naaso Rock is uh, Muhammad Buhari, not Chuburi from Sudan, according to the leader of uh, indigenous people of Biafra. <laughs> oh my God. Hello everyone. This is Prospect Channel TV. If you are here for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell icon. This is where you get notification whenever we upload any video from this channel. Now to the news in full. The special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Femi Adeshuna, has come out to, to give a reply to Nandi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, about his claims that the person currently in the seat of power in Nigeria is a man named Jubiri. Adeshona in his article titled Bowari at 78, if only you knew this president, poured praises on president insisting that Mr. President is held and in good health. 
This came as a result of the fact that Mr. President clocked 78. Kano had all argued that the man in Aso Villa is not Buhari, but a clone. He supported his, his claims with a very strong evidence and insisted on the very fact that a man named Jubiri is the one that filled in for Buhari, who is already dead. Additional condemns Kano's baseless argument, describing his narrative as crazy, sadly believed by some intellectuals. In his words, where this is Jubiri from Sudan and not Muhammad Buhari, who had died during the medical vac vac vacation in 2017. Some people say, you have a clone in Aso Villa, not Buhari, sadly believed by even some intellectuals. <laughs> no wahala, no problem. We know how it, 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 it rose in this country. We know the tradition. It has been like that. When uh, you see some certain things happen, someone will come and say the other one, and you are seeing what actually happened, just like what happened in Lekki Two Gauge. We saw in a live video when people were shooting at the unarmed protesters. But later, some persons came up to tell us that um, is a, a Photoshop. What happened there was not real. We saw some persons, we saw some persons on uniform. They see talk say, not be them wear uniform, now nah, hoodlums. Later, they come see talk say, they come there, but they not fire life ammunition. Now later too, they come see talk say, actually, eh, why would the governor of Lagos State even deny them, say, you don't know anything about uh, them. I'm talking about Nigerian army, about them, that they came, to Lekki Toll Gate, they, they actually shot, but not a uh, life ammunition. That they have the life ammunition and the other one. See, this country is a drama country. That is the truth. So, hello, guys. I'm going to drop it here. Let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Please kindly leave your opinion below the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Share. And like. Bye for now.